Hello, all Havoc here. All right, so today let's figure out how to work this thing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do some playing around with a few different things today. Like HBD said in comments from last episode, that the the easiest way to have done this would have been with our drill and a couple mining belts, and just have the mining belts open and and swap between them, and would have been the fastest, safest, cleanest way to have picked all that up. In the long term, we will be doing that, but first. Let's figure this thing out. So we're gonna go in here. We turn it on and off. Oh, it needs a battery. Let's let's, let's go get a battery. Come on, Avic. Everything needs a battery in this game. I'm surprised the batteries don't need batteries. All right. So let's take this guy. Drop it in. Help. So terrain manipulator. That's what we're playing with here. Okay, that is exactly what I wanted it to do. <laughs> I, I'm super excited. Um, I, I, I didn't know what to expect, but uh, that was exactly what I could have hoped for, actually. And it took two units of dirt to do that. So we want to go... Come on here, Havoc. Uh, no. Still no. Yes. And that goes there. So I'm going to take this here. And do something about, like... Um, like, I don't know. Hold on. A little bit of struggle here. Hold on. Here we go. So I want to put this here, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it goes there, Havoc. Uh, I need another one then. Oh. Uh, set to default. That's not what I wanted. I wanted that. All, all I care about is gold right now. Alright, so... Then we can do... Just for the sake of shenanigans here. Just bear with me, guys. Um, where do you go? Huh. I didn't uh, envision that being down there, actually. Alright, so um, what I'm liking is I can just fill... Oh, hey. I can just fill this back in. That makes me super excited. I, I had not played with this thing before, and I'd been avoiding doing a lot of drilling. Because I didn't want to have a regularly shaped terrain. When I figured out that I could put... Uh, the stairs in the way that I had them set up and it still looked pretty good. I was okay with digging out these tunnels right here but now that uh, I'm able to do what I'm doing with the terrain generator it gives me excited for more. In fact it makes me less concerned about how well the uh, The crane, or the small digger, does, actually. Give me all that gold. I actually would... I'm more likely to do more digging now. <laughs> 
I should have calmed down a little bit on that and done. A little bit more cleaner approach, I think, but. Oh, that's fantastic. That makes me super excited, super happy. So let me do that. Put this here, put this here. Oh. There we go. I'm super excited because like I'm totally fine with being able to see through it um, I'd probably clean it up more like this instead of how this is but overall it's really great because now I can do something like this oh wait hold on I can put this back in here and then fill that back in. I had those two pieces of gold I needed. The rest of it I cannot care about. I can clean this up, I can smooth this all out. Add more dirt back into my, uh, my, my uh, uh, dirt canister. So if we go R, set to flatten, and it's iron. So yeah, I can totally change the terrain around my base and not feel guilty about it being all jagged and and, and bad. I'm super upset though that all these ores keep popping in like this. It's actually making a really bad mess. Just a lot of this I'm never gonna use. Um, Especially so much of it. I was doing that little laggy bit. I don't want to dig a hole. Alright. Let's see if it'll do it now. There it is. Alright. So yeah, we got... Quite a bit of gold, uh, over two stacks. So let's go get that in the furnace. Terrain generator though, pretty cool. I'm a big fan, I like it. Yeah, that's, that's a win for me, I like this. I said now I'm uh, less concerned about how the uh, the drills are doing their job because it's that's that's quite easy to fix. That is quite easy to fix. All right, so that's gonna go there. This guy's gonna go here. You know what? These guys are going in here. Going for the gold. All right, so we need gas displays for those. We need the gold to do this. Um, yeah, I'm... See, this is... I don't want this like this. It wasn't like this. We had some rocks along here, and I was okay with that. But now it's like super bad, super jagged. You remember this was flat because we had a structure here and now it's, it's just, it's janky, super, super janky. It'd almost be kind of cool to uh, just bear in mind that this is, <laughs> uh, not going to happen, but I'm just saying, is to take the ogre and level a spot 
with the ogre because we have all these ups and downs and undulations and uh, that's a half a block taller than this and or vice versa and so yeah we got these yeah or a half a block high, this way is what it is that's a half block higher up than this is but if it was all flat like flat flat and we built inside I mean, pretty much how you would build a real structure, right? You would get a smooth, flat foundation. So, yeah. So 33. Oh, it's got, a, it's got, it's got a minute to go. Um, oh, it's, I'm done. That's bugging me. That's done. Uh, this one. No, because it's gonna mess up the furnaces. Just let it. Just let it be havoc. Okay, and down. Place. All right. See, this is what I'm talking about. I like this thing. Like it a lot. So like digging this stuff out, it's only gonna make it to where we can get more. I just do this like so. Like so. Um I'll close this one. So now we're back up to 64 in our dirt canister, just like that. He said we probably need to get uh, a couple of them. That should be a thing. So we also need a few more of these uh, mining belts, the large mining belts. Overshot. Oh, just made it. Okay, so we we'll drop down here, and this is what. Uh, HPD was talking about in the last episode. You just run around like this. You don't even have to turn the drill on. And uh, makes it super simple, uh, super fast. You just throw some other randomness over. Uh, why'd I put an 8 ore over there? We're not picking up uranium yet, so let's put that here. Um, there we go. So overall, we didn't make too big of a mess, but we kind of did. Everything that evaporated, evaporated, or could evaporate, did. Um, so again, large stacks of 50. This is all stuff we could put right back into the silo because they're in stacks now. It will make it a lot easier. It reduces the item count. The, uh, the silo only cares about item counts. It doesn't care how many things are in each item. So it does make it uh, more substantially easier if everything's in 50s. Our item count will go down drastically by doing this. Um, so now we just, this is what HPD was talking about, I just go like this now and just, we just need to watch our, uh, our mining belt. As it fills up, we just need to be a little bit cautious to flip the lever in time, like so. That was fine, now we can go there. 
Uh, we're going to put this away. <laughs> Bye, Oxite. <laughs> Later, dude. We're going to do these two. Because <sighs> why not? There's a big explosion happens out there from mixing. Just don't breathe in, dude. You're fine. So they want to try someday, like <laughs> not in our live playthrough at least. Would be can we mix those guys? How we were just doing that, and then call in a ship. Will the thrusters on the ship ignite a uh, hazardous area? That'd be interesting to try. All right, let's get these things down here. Let's actually bring this one back up. And... There we go. All right, so then we just go back to doing this. Do, 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 do. So overall, this is a drastically easier way to do this. Um, the more complex way that I would set up is what I did at the end of last season, what we did, to, what we did with the furnaces, and we just have it to where it compiles everything through a series of sorters and stackers, and it gets messy pretty quick doing that. So that's not lost upon me. Superly complicated, but it's a forever solution. But uh, this here is not a forever solution. And close. Get out of here. Good times. We're oxygenating the planet. We're going to add atmosphere to Mars. It's kind of nice seeing some iron come out of here. That's uh, a pretty awesome scenario. Was not expecting that. Wow, that's actually a tremendous amount of iron. Oh, just keep it coming, buddy. I mean, <laughs> I'm not being greedy, but wow. <laughs> Bring more. Four stacks and counting. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh, we're getting close to the bottom then. Ah. It tricked me. <laughs> and close. All right. I knew we had some shoots in there, but uh, I wasn't expecting that actually. I had forgotten. This should have been the correct term. I had forgotten there were shoots in there. All right, so you, you. And you. Just one more? I thought there was one more down here. No. Okay. Alright. Oh, another thing with the. the, the uh, uh, terrain manipulator is we can get those last couple blocks out from the ground and then smooth the ground back out. That'll be kind of nice. Our inventory is pretty much on the full. Um, 
So let's do this. That's actually not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put something from there in there so I, I can pull these with me. So those will cook super fast though, so. Probably even before that elevator even gets here. So it'd be kind of nice to have a vending machine in this place or out there where that is and a chute running from a hopper, not a hopper, from a silo down in our storage facility and it's only got one thing in it. That'd be, that'd be really, really awesome. So gas display, we need two of these. Uh, we need, uh, oh no, what were they? I was just looking at it, was it? Was it display? It was a screen, I thought. No. Why did I just... I literally was just looking at it. Scroll faster. There we go. It's way down here. Console! Ugh. Uh, I'm going to make four. Get in there, so these stop doing this. Thank you. All right, so I want four of these. Uh, I want two more of these, actually. Because we want to read temperatures and um, pressures on the furnace as well. All right, so that'll be that. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. And then we need some glass, I think, to put this together, right? So you go in there. You go in there. Yeah. All right, so then you guys. That's gonna be hard to wire, isn't it? I think that's still gonna be hard to wire too. Uh, yeah, this will be a problem. So you, let's put that back in here for a sec. I need to put you in there for a minute. Uh, gas sensor, pressure. Perfect. Gas sensor, temperature. Ta-da! Okay, you're not hooked up to anything, so that's not going to work. So. so let's go like that. 7.4C in there. Shoop. And then we can get a pressure. Let's get that pressure dropped down. If we need to get that pressure dropped down, then... Uh, It'll be easier to control the temperature in there. And so
Alright, so we did that. Oh, no, 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 I was going there. <laughs> so you want a near vacuum. Wait, what? One eight two four. Is it dropping at all? Um, is the door closed? <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not dropping at all. That's changing things a bit. So HBD said he recommended negative 200. That's oh, maximum effort, okay. And temperature skyrocketing. So I think I'm gonna drop it down to, I'm just gonna throw a ballpark number out there, maybe like 60. Uh, KPA. That's why I just got done watching a really interesting video with uh, Elon Musk was getting interviewed by uh, a YouTuber named Everyday Astronaut, and uh, Elon was saying how st <laughs> how foolish uh, Pascal's are relative to just using bar. It's like everybody knows what one atmosphere feels like. And the numbers are relative and actually reasonable, and it was pretty. It was a pretty interesting video. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this guy off and see if the pressure now is going to hold relative. It should still be dropping because I don't want a vacuum in there. I just want low air pressure in there. What if we did? Just like that. Just a quick little blurb. It helped for a second and now it's still dropping. Which is weird is because the pressure should be building in there as the temperature goes up. Hmm. Okay, so we're only venting the AC side. Oh, we're still pulling some of the air out, aren't we? There's still some residual air that's getting pulled out. But doing this, what I just did, is going to... Oh, it lowered the temperature, but not by much. Hmm. Interesting. So there's going to be a point where the pressure is going to get too low, I think. The temperature is skyrocketing now because the pressure is getting low. It's easier to heat low amounts of air than it is large amounts of air. So this does work. I mean, this heating this room in there is that's pretty odd. You can see it. Look at that. Look at everything. You can just bounce it around there frantically. Um, and I'm also circulating the air, which is also helpful. I learned that in the last episode because we were pumping the CO2 filled air out of the greenhouse, and we found that it was better to have the vents further apart on the opposite ends of the rooms. It made a huge difference in the circulation of the air. That's, which is great to see that they've got mechanics like that in place. 
So yeah, we're dumping through there, pulling back in through here. That's so crazy. So I'm wondering if the pressure is going to stall. Because we know the door can hold a vacuum. We just don't want to overpressure the door. Because even HBD pointed out that this is our, in this room right here, this door is our weak link. So, so we're 200C. I mean, this isn't going to reflect that, but... I mean, all this, and I'm not even close to using this. This is literally just some playing around. So in the next episode, we're going to do some less playing around and actually do get some more things set up. So we got to get our shoots tied in. Uh, we've got to get uh, our other displays wired in. Uh, that can happen out here, though. So that's very fortunate. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we got some got some work ahead of us, but this is fantastic. Two hundred, we're approaching two hundred twenty C. Just off the air compressor, air air conditioners. So we still got to get uh, the radiators in place. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the pipes to come out of this wall straight and then stop so we can walk behind them, basically. So move them over one. So we'll be able to get to those to wire them up because I, I really don't want to deal with that kind of shenanigans. And then we're going to bring all the wiring to the wall and for the heaters. And put them on displays and with buttons as well so we can control them with logic so there it is 200 approaching 220 c it's slowing down so it's normalizing and that's fantastic that's 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 great that still can get the heater going or the the furnace going in the right direction before we get uh We're going to get everything going the right way. So I appreciate you guys' help. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and comment down below. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.